I think I might need to keep the brawl. I have to assume some kind of aggressive murloc stuff is going to come down. But maybe you're right. Don't worry, has OGs decided to just RNG? I'm just testing this. Just testing. That's a lot of Murlocs. That's why I have the Brawl. I guess the question is going to be, do I live long enough to use the Brawl? He could still be a mid-range deck. Hoi is using a list that's running two Murlocs, two Grimscale Chumps in a mid-range core. I think Colento is wrong without Dirty Rot. Yeah, Dirty Rot is for some matchups, it's good, but not for everything. I want to Brawl on five. So do I want to play Infested Tor on 4 or do I want to play Public Defender on 4? Together with Armor up. I guess the Toran might be a slightly better still than the 2 health. Mm, yeah. Sometimes you win, sometimes you win. Oh, that would be so sweet if I had a whirlwind. But I don't. So I think I'll just commit the infested tour and I also get to check if that's repentance and it's not. But now if he has the gentle megasaur, then bad things might start happening. Hi Mr. Ch Tiger Shark. My day is fine. The real trick didn't watch Hearthstone Championship Tour was not at home. What was the result? Hoi is the new champion. Colento came in second. Well, there's my whirlwind sleep with the fishes. He's going to get a grim scale charm back. But I think I need to commit this here. Yeah, he gets a grim scale charm. Sad, but let's see. Yeah, and the Nyria were also the semi-finals. If you can find on the just below on the feed of this channel you can find my article about it you can find all the results and everything there there are so many hybrid mages around Grimscale Chum but he had no Murlocs in hand next turn he could play Tarim I don't really have a good way to play around that I think I'll just drop my taunt He's going to play Tarim, then he's going to trade with the true silver champion these guys are going to go face. Or he can also play the Steed, but I had no way to prevent him from playing the Steed anyway. That's not too bad yet. I mean, I could even execute the Groom Scale Chum if I want. I guess I do want. Let's execute that fellow right there. And drop a blood hoof brave. So now he doesn't have on board, he doesn't have an answer to the blood hoof brave. He could have another steed. He didn't have murlocs in hand, so he has to have something else. It's probably probably a mid-range version, and not a pure aggro version. Based on not having all those murlocs. Why would you do it this way around? Oh he has a consecration. Okay, that makes sense. Now I would need to start top decking something. This is not what I was looking for. What if he plays Tyrion next turn? I could draw with the slam. If he plays Tyrion next turn. Then not using the slam here allows me to kill Tyrion next turn. We'll also give him the Ashbringer, so my life expectancy is going to be a bit short. Come, what's UK Pally? UK Pally is a deck built by Jambre, who is a one of the best UK players. It's an aggressive Paladin list, very aggressive Paladin list. A little bit interesting. Will I brawl this? And I could like brawl in the ghoul. 
So close to running him out of free resources, but so close to dying too. Oh, now we'd have War X too. I guess I'll brawl this. Can't afford to slam and go. Let's just brawl this. I get rid of the wall leader, I get rid of the Megasaur. Maybe. Maybe not. So now if he has the Tarim in hand, I'm actually in trouble because I was one man out from playing the Revision Ghoul. Okay, if he has Tarim I'm in trouble. We'll see. Brawler has been spent. If there's a Tarim... Well, I can slam and execute the Tarim. But I'm going to take a lot of damage here. Didn't have Tarim. That's great news because then I can Ravage and Ghoul the minions before he gets to play a Tarim. Alright, now this is fine. But Lay on Hands means that this is much more mid range build than I initially expected. I probably need to slam here to draw more cards. Then the Ravaging Ghoul. And a Tar Creeper and Hero Power. Alright. Let's see, but now he has probably found his some of his big legendaries at least. And I don't have any weapon removal in this deck. I actually, that's something that I'm not very comfortable with, not having any weapon removal. More war leaders. That's pretty nice Murloc board. Okay, that might be a Tarim that he has over there. Oh, choices, choices. Primordial Drake. If I kill this one, this one will still have 3 health. That's the play, right? Hit here, hit here. This one goes down to 2 health, this one goes down to 3 health. Hit here, Primordial Drake. No executes yet. I think that's the play. I think this is the play. Remove that one. But I also need to hit here. Because I want to remove the Murlocs. And then the Drake. will kill the Murlocs. And then I'll armor up. I still have Ghoul in to execute in hand. But I don't really have a good way to deal with his Tyrion. He could hero power and play. Hero power, trade with the weapon, play Tarim, trade away the Primordial Drake. You would have only one tree, tree on board together with Tarim though. So that's a small upside. I could clear the board. He has one card in hand. What if the card is Tyrion? I think I need to clear the board. And I need to top deck a taunt next turn. Then I can go from there. Let's clear up this one. Or do I leave a tree tree to fuck on? No, I have to execute it, I think. I need to find that final taunt. There's a decent chance for me to top deck the final taunt here. But I think I need, needed to clear the board so I don't get too low on health. So if I top deck the taunt, then I will be able to react immediately. That's not a taunt. At least I get to kill that one. That's good. Okay. But I need to get the taunt. What does he have in his hand even? I don't know. Well, that's a taunt. It was not the taunt that I was looking for, but I guess it's the taunt that I deserved. All right, I'm at 20 health. I'm behind a taunt. He has spent one Peacekeeper. Is he going to run equality in this deck? Maybe, but not necessarily. 
down comes the steed. Uh, do I want to develop more minions or do I want more armor? I'm going to try to snipe the Silverhand Murloc, regardless. I probably don't need the minion. I can play the minion later. Try to snipe the try to snipe the Silverhand Murloc. Failed. Well then I will just push through. Because I don't want to leave him with a Murloc. He has another gentle Megasaur left. I don't want him to be adapting a 3-7 Murloc. A 3-7 poisonous Murloc would be able to deal a bunch of damage. Now I'm at 19, he's at 19. I have a Brawl left, so if he overcommits to the board, I'm cool with that. Okay, so I cannot kill all the minions. Do I want to try to brawl? Brawl is also my way to deal with so many other things. But I can only get one in three shot on the rag light lord. But that's my last brawl, right? Not attacking first. No, I want to attack after, maybe. Nah. I think I don't need to brawl yet. Let's try this. If he attacks with Rag Light Lord, there's a chance that it heals itself as well. I might try to delay that brawl a little bit because I don't have other means to remove stuff afterwards. He is running equality. Oh wow. Now things are getting scary. I didn't seriously think he would run equality in that deck. Okay. I can't afford to play the War Axe. He's all out of cards. Time to roll. One in three to win. No, I mean two in three to win. Lose. I don't dare to hero power. I think my chance to win this game is better with the Ali Armsmith than with the hero power. Yeah, it hurts to lose a brawl. It always does. So he's going to commit the secret every time. Okay, he was he was happy to get rid of the red light lord. Fine. Let's give him back this one if it's a getaway Kodo. It's not a getaway Kodo. So then it's a Repentance. I will drop this one into the Repentance. You can obviously kill that with the Hydrologist. I mean, if he top decks his Tyrion, he's fine. He's winning if he top decks the Tyrion. Trade there, grab a card. Alright, alright. I guess I'll battle reach for another card. Okay. I think I need to save my health here. I can play the Diehorn Hatchling. But if he finds the Tyrion. That at least is not a Tyrion. That's the upside. But the spell can be anything. Sophie Alves, hi. Eight mana spell. So that's a lay on hands, right? Most likely a lay on hands. What are the eight mana spells there? There's dino size. It can also be dino size. So it's lay on hands or dino size.
Armsmith is going to start giving me some more armor. Hitting him in the face, alright. Even if it's dino size, he can only kill one of the taunts with it. And then it will go down to 7 health, so then it's possible to kill it with the hero power. But he also has the Tyrion coming. And that's a good death rattle to find. Stony Defender is an excellent pick as well, though. Let's play that one first. Primordial Drake. Primordial Drake might come in handy. Can't play it this turn, but I can use that later. Not the time to play Stubborn Gastropod yet, I think. Does Sentry see any play? No, not really. Not really. I think I need to hit here. And then we'll go for 50 50 between face or the Megasaur. We hit the face. I'm at 9. I have another taunt coming down. He found the Soundhill Defender. Oh dear, he can find some really big things here. Does he whiff? If he picks Tyrion, he can't play it this turn. He can play Tarim. And he can play with a flame. That also works. So I can hit here. I can hit there. Then I can play the Drake and Hero Power. The Armsuit will die. Armsuit will die regardless. It's also going to get the 2 health regardless. But this way I get to kill off as much of this stuff as possible, leaving just the gentle Megasaur. Then Hero Powering that one down. Alright, he's almost out of cards, but that means Tyrion is going to come very, very soon. I have only two cards in my deck as well. He's running double equality in that deck. That is a big surprise. You just don't want to do that. Alright. Armor Smith. Tyrion is the final card, isn't it? Do I want the Acolyte? Yeah, I do want the Acolyte. This game is not going to go that long. I, I might kill off the Acolyte in one turn. Not necessarily. He can, he can make me draw two cards. I will survive drawing two cards. Let's play even the Acolyte. This one trades here. I want the hit to go face. Yes, I want the hit to go face. So I will trade off these first to get the maximum chance for the hit to go face. Doesn't go face. Now he has Tyrion. I can run Acolyte into the Tyrion to remove the Divine Shield. And then I can try to hit with the hero power. And I'm guaranteed to draw the beast. Here goes the acolyte. Then we try to hit something. We hit the face. And we play the Dahon Matriarch. Or the curator. The die hole matriarch. Okay. I 
That has to be lay on hands, right? No, it was the dino size. It was the dino size. He still has a chance. It was the dino size, so he still has a chance. I need to hit something big. Here we go. Alright. That works. I mean, he had to kill me next turn or he's dead to fatigue. So what if I hit the Tyrion? Then I can trade away that. I'm dead if I hit the Tyrion. No, I'm alive if I hit the Tyrion. So, I hit Tyrion. He gets 5 damage weapon. Armorsmith kills the 1-1. One, one. I play Curator. The only way for him to kill the Curator is with the Dino-sized minion, because 5 attack weapon doesn't kill the Curator. And then he dies to fatigue in 2 turns, even if I don't hit face. If I kill the 10-4, he doesn't have the damage, he dies in fatigue in 2 turns. If I hit face, he dies immediately. If I hit the 1-1, one, one, he wins. So... Actually, it was a 75% chance for me to win the game. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel for more.